We hope you all got some kind of feeling about this thing, the next thing we're going to play in the last thing. Because like, it's a thing that keeps us alive. It's nothing but determination and so forth and so on. You know, knowing that you're going to get it together. Thank you. Good night. What's happening in the world? Today's April 4th, 2022. I don't necessarily like Star Wars and where they took it, but may the 4th be with you, I guess. This is Una the Soft Taco. She's a Manx, as everybody knows. She has no tail. And we have a lot of ground to cover. So, gotta put you down. You have to brush her almost every other day. I haven't had my... I haven't had my, my drink yet. We got a lot of ground to cover. Cheers, mate. Okay, we began last week with Russia bombing left and right, even though they left the capital of Kyiv, and Ukrainian forces and police officers are patrolling the area looking for, bice, for bodies. We began our week with Russia bombing left and right. Canada's indigenous people met with Pope Francis to get an apology and because they were forced to attend Canada's state-funded schools and be perhaps sodomized and other nasty things. Uh, native children were forced to attend Christian schools and there's a second booster shot approved for people 50 and over. And Ukraine is worried that Russia will split Ukraine into North and South like Korea. Not sure how they'll do that when they just pulled back their forces, but nobody has a crystal ball, right? Elon got COVID for the second time. The US and Philippines did joint military drills to counter China, largest in history. And Tesla's stock went up 8% in news that it would have to split. And I didn't get to lit I didn't get to participate in this. Over 20 parties went down in the UK Parliament during the coronavirus restrictions, which is causing an uproar. And lynching is a federal hate crime now, finally, in 2022. More funding for K-1 schools and like 2,000 more dollars for Pell grants. A 24-year-old who was really drunk when he ran through a home homeless encampment and killed four people um, is getting. Yeah, I don't know why I wrote that. He just, he's screwed. Uh, Russia and Ukraine has peace talks in Istanbul, but no formal resolution. Russia is still, yeah, confused what to do. The Dow surged, and the ninth Starbucks in the South has unionized. Did I mention I'm the Doom Wizard? I didn't even give it an introduction for this thing. I'm not really with it, guys, today. Severe storms in my neighboring city of Springdale. There was an EF3 tornado that slammed through and I think killed somebody. Let's go to Colton's and get a sweet and savory meat potato. How about, how about them, bra how about them Razorbacks? Flash floods in Australian, <clears throat> flash floods in Australian East Coast for the second time in a month, thousands evacuated, and most of Africa's people are fully vaccinated now. Cannibal, I don't know why I wrote that. Coronal mass ejection will hit Earth at nearly 2 mi million miles per hour, scientists say. And climate change is increasing the speed of ocean sound transmission, threatening marine species as sound travels faster and becomes louder. Putin got bad information from his military leaders, apparently. Probably just telling them what he wants to hear, otherwise he'll silence them. Weekly unemployment claims up 14,000, and Pakistani leader asked to step down. They're in a constitutional crisis over there. There was tornado watches in southern Georgia and northern Florida, and in fact, no, numerous tornadoes in several states. A severe heat wave in India in March already. Some parts had it for 11 days straight. New studies show Evermectin is not effective at treating COVID infection. And Biden made an announcement that he's releasing 1 million barrels of oil a day for as long as 180 days to lower energy prices. Great. Then what? Hmm? All right. This, uh, this comes as he keeps pressing the Saudi prince to keep pumping oil. In, in a rare statement, Shanghai admitted it was unprepared to deal with the Omicron surge, and France and Germany refused to pay for Russian gas in rubles. Check out this upward lightning in Kansas. A vegan Burger King opens in London, and a deadly 50 car pileup in Pennsylvania. Starting next month, oh joy, oh joy. Starting next month, you can mark gender as X on your passport. Hmm, okay. Federal officials tapped 420 million to boost water supplies in several rural, pr 
water projects in several states. All in all, it's about $5 billion for Western water programs, with 20% of that dedicated to rural projects. And this from Virginia tech researchers in collaboration with the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory for discovery that key parts of the global carbon cycle used to track movement of carbon dioxide are incorrect. Either the amount of carbon coming out of the atmosphere from the plants is wrong, or the amount coming out from the soil is wrong said Meredith Steele, an assistant professor. Climate change will also increase cases of hypothermia, or low sodium levels. I don't think that's hypothermia. I meant, I didn't write, I wrote that wrong. Or it auto, it auto corrected me. By 13.9% above 15 C, 431,000 jobs added last month in March. And Biden said new cars sold need to have a miles per gallon of 40. El Salvador claims a state of emergency after a deadliest day in 30 years. And Spain's solar energy crisis leaves 62,000 people bankrupt after investing in solar panels. Ukraine and Russia exchange 82 POWs, and Ukraine says Russia is taking children. Will Smith resigns from Academy membership. Big deal. And Russian forces have been pushed back from Kyiv. Again. Mortgage rates hit 4.67%. What? Two full percentage points since last summer. It's now 40% more expensive to buy a home. Yeah, I give up. I'm not even going to try. And that's all I got, guys. I'm a little lacking energy today, and it was kind of a scattershot news report, but this has been your April 4th What's Happening in the World update. My name is Reagan. Thank you to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. You help keep this program going, as I enjoy doing it every week. This is about the 50th episode. I have never stopped doing this every single week, every single Monday. Thank you, and have a great day. Ciao.